For this activity, we're going to be looking at, we're going to be taking a look at activity four on the Total Eclipse Choice Board. This one is the reading spinner activity. Um, for four, five, six, and seven, each of these uh, activities on the choice board are aligned to a different content area. And so you'll be able to have students complete activities or lessons for reading, math, social studies, and uh, science. So this one is geared toward reading. So starting off, like we have with each of these activities and lessons, you have your standards that will be addressed. And so uh, everything from kinder all the way through high school astronomy, then you have your long-term goals. So what you want students to experience and what you want them to understand, as well as any misconceptions that might arise during the eclipse. And we know that there's going to be several of them because students uh, have not experienced a total uh, eclipse before. So looking at your teacher directions, you have linked to any of the images that will be used uh, as we continue throughout looking at this lesson. So I'll reference these when we get to those pages themselves, but you do have the link for each of those graphics. Um, should you need to print them larger for students to reference. Uh, you have some guided questions that you can ask students before, during, preferably um, the lesson, and even after. And then we have two reading passages that are geared toward different levels of students. So this is toward our lower elementary students, um, and it's a quick passage that you will need to read with them. So like our pre-K kinder students that would struggle to read some of these larger words and terms. And it goes through the different stages of the eclipse. This was created with ChatGPT. Um, and I know uh, Charlie did a little bit of work kind of tweaking some of the things that she wanted the AI program to say, but um, this and the next grade band passage were created using that program, which is pretty cool. So again, recommended pre-K to first. Um, and then our second one is for our upper elementary students, so second through fifth, ideally. But again, looking at the different phases uh, that the eclipse goes through. Then we have those images that um, I clicked on from that link in the Google folder that you can use to reference the different phase points as students are um, reading and going through that passage. You can have them up to reference throughout the eclipse itself to reference before, after. Um, they make really great visuals since they are actual photographs. Now for the student created portion of this, and I am going to zoom out just a little bit. Ideally, you want them to create this um, spinner before they begin reading. So that way they have a visual to go along with what they are reading, uh, to connect what each of those phases are and the times that they will be occurring on April 8th. So this is the top of the spinner. You have the portion where you would place the brad. And then on the second page, you have the inside portion of the spinner itself again with the place that the brad will go and these times that are listed are for garland so that students um, have that reference of this is what you'll see at this time this is how the moon is passing in front of the sun um, and what those different contact points as well as totality will look like so again having students create this first so that they can use it alongside the passage that either you will be reading to them or they will be reading through. 